Shit talk up, Blay. No. Who is the best at jail? Pink people. Why are they the best? I mean, Inky made them. You know, um, they were found out. Uh, he has some, some melanated, um, darkly melanated children who were crooked also because... But those were the first, you know, those were the ones that were able to go and to, they went to another planet and got training or put it back under mind control or whatever the fuck, uh, so that they can come back and live uh, with their ema on Pilates. And they did very well, you know, they were not crooked, they learned respect, they learned what respect was. Um, but however, then the pink ones, and there were some that were very, very brightly like piss color. You know, you go to the bathroom, you know, and you piss, it's just so damn yellow, then you can, it, it's like you did not use the toilet at all almost. It just had that yellow tint, something like that. They were crooked as fuck too. Some of the birds, when they once that was like that, they were crooked as fuck. They also left, went away to another planet and came back and they were good to go. No longer were they crooked. So Inky, when all this shit was really found out, you know? So, Inky was put on the moon, but he really wasn't put. Inky agreed to go. You know, the female, she was so upset, and I don't blame her, and no one blames her. You know, it's like everyone was against Inky in the solar system. It was so depressed at that time. And it's like everyone, everyone was so against Inky. And there was never a murder or a killing or someone dying. Never that. This was all new. And this is how the name Anu came about. Because mm -hmm. now it is a new thing. So... The nine years got together, there was more than nine years. They got together and decided, okay, well, we will get them the moon. But they went to the moon now. Oh, uh, that is another movie. Um, so, while on the moon, they began to multiply so fast, you know? This is just a movie I saw, okay? They begin to multiply so fast, and uh, even those who had, were melanated that were with Inky, he had some that were pink. They were actually with him on the moon because the other children, his other kids, had turned against him. But he had a he had a few of them that were still with him. Some were melanated, and I think it was two. Three. It was three. They were not melanated. They were pink. They were with him. Yankee began to cry to Anu to hear him and Anu would not hear him. But in the days of, you know, went to Anu. I told that story already. And when Inky went to Anu, I guess I'm gelling, huh? I'm gelling in someone who tells this story. <laughs> so, um, when they beamed Inky up, they also beamed up. The few who stayed at Inky's side, you know, because some of the Inky's children did leave to go with him and they were not crooked, but they were going to go with the Abba. Uh, the Ima, she went back to her planet and she took all the children that were not crooked and did not go with Inky. She took every last one with her, she did not leave any. On Pilates, they all went back to Jupiter. Some of them were bright skinned, and this is how come Jupiter has brightened up just a tad bit. There are no bright, light bright, or yellow or gold people on Pilates. I mean, on Jupiter. When she got there with her gold children, her gold children were taught, were treated differently. At first. And she stopped that shit. She was hurting too much and she did not want her children to hurt because um, of what the Abba Inky did. So now they are on Mars, right? 
and Nikki is crying and so and that goes to Anu and then Anu decides, okay, we're going to beam him up. When they beam him up, they beam him up a couple no more. And that is when Inky gave them up. He gave them away. Almost. Almost gave them away. You know, um they had to get rid of them there and they thought they did. And then the fruit that was left behind because those beings in the galaxy you know, they are not for murder and all that. They were sick or whatever, so they put them on Mars. There were people, there were beings on Mars too. There were no one, no one, no one on the moon, but there were a few beings on Mars, you know, and um, the beings on Mars were like different type of beings, you know, from different planets. It wasn't a lot, just a few. And, uh, they decided that they would take those who were sick and the sad and they would put them back to health, you know. So once they came back to health, they did the same fucking thing on the goddamn moon, on the on Mars that they did in Egypt. The same fucking thing. <laughs> See, you cannot help a creature. So, Inky still did not give up on them. Although he is not with them, he is not like this. So now, they are also on the earth, you know? They are also on the earth. So now, they destroy Mars, okay? Everyone thinks Mars is destroyed. Those that were with Inky and on Pilates, um, they are on Earth and they multiply here too. Man, there's so many movies and the movies are puzzles. So I'm not going to talk about them being on the Earth, how they got to the Earth. However, I'm going to talk about Roman Lys and Romans from Mars because they destroyed Mars. However, there was a part of Mars that they did not destroy and this is where the twins and they were twins this is where they lived and with their parents Inky's children are so like um very smart although Anu called them Connie they are very very intelligent beings so they made a little small rocket ship and they can only make a small one because the materials they gathered, it was not enough material for the parents to get in also. And uh, they sent Romanis and Romanai to Earth. They sent them here to Earth. And they got a hold to Ham. Ham got a hold to Noah. Noah cursed him, and now there are more of them. Then our people took them and put their asses in a fucking cave some goddamn while. And then the Egyptians when they found them and now they are here. However, once they got here to Earth, they came to Earth during a flood. Okay? The flood of Noah is when they came to Earth from Mars. And, uh, and there was to be no one else that was alive on Mars. No one was alive on Mars. Supposedly they all were dead. However, not this because they had built something. The dad had built something because he knew that with all the shit that they were doing, that they, uh, the night heads would come after them again. So he built something and it worked because now uh, the pink people are still here. So when Anu, now they are on the earth, you know, when all this loud shit, and Anu say, I'm going to. Um, destroy them. They're too fucking loud, you know? And they're doing too much, you know? And they were doing too much. And now it was the melanated man, pink people. Oh, wow. So when they know decided to destroy it, then um, Inky decided he would walk the earth and find someone who would listen to him and could take up, uh, 
you know, land and put the land together. And then uh, Inky, you know, because Inky is the first scientist. Although there's no such word as a scientist. He is the first one to pop around with DNA. So he showed Noah how to uh, test to the animals to, in order to put them in uh, this is really land, you know, <laughs> in order to put them in a, uh, uh, however it was built, in order to put them in a two by two, to take all the animals and put them in a two by two, you know, and after the flood, and uh, after they saw that the wickedness was still upon the earth, you know, because it was supposed to be to destroy the wickedness, not to destroy man, <laughs> man is wickedness. So therefore, wickedness was still here, you know, Romanists in Roman land, they were still alive on Mars and now they came here, so now wickedness is here some more. That is when Inky gave up on them, and that is when they became a bastard child. They were first a bastard child from the Ima. She did not want them. Oh, wow, she was, you should see that movie. She was angry as fuck. None of the females knew. That they could get that kind of anger, no one knew, and there has not been any type of anger like that since. You know, everyone learned something from all this new shit they learned. You said bullshit. I guess what I am seeing, I started it there in uh, the um. Adjustment bro wants you to think what I just told you is bullshit. I don't give a fuck what you think like I say. The things I know do not require your real your ability. It does not require it at all. It only requires that I myself. Me myself and I know it. And all of the stories and mythos of all the stages one, all of them were If you research the word Zeus, high and low, you will find the letters, the Hebrew letters, you take Now, after that, he was out there bathing, you know, looking good in the water. He knew he couldn't sneak up as a bull, couldn't sneak up as anything else. How do you sneak up on him? He changed himself into a swan. See how they lay to come with that myth bullshit? The story he is telling is of David and Bathsheba. Wow. It's a fucked up love story. Mm-hmm. Electromagnetic energy, directed energy, that's what comes down. A dove. A dove. Check it. Now that's some sick shit. Now you know why. Now you know why the early church fathers was into fucking cows and sheep. Mm-hmm. 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 He shows the book, but it is the early church fathers that were into cows and sheep. Uh, the church does not start into the New Testament. And that was something new that uh, the master had given to the Melanesian men. Church. 
you know, so gay. Well, he did not give them the book. They got the book so called after uh, Lincoln, the Jew boy, who everyone wants to say is a half breed. No, it's not. He's just a straight motherfucking Jew boy. Uh, he's an Orthodox Jew boy. Um, he was in Illinois too, Springfield at that, Springfield, well, um, after he so-called, you know, enslaved us, enslaved us, unslaved us, is it called the emancipation? He did not free us, he just put us in the front yard, built this big ass fence, and there the any one of our actual saviors, the prophets, or anyone to come and take us from out of that front yard. And that is when they put us in the front yard and they didn't want to come and take us. That is when all the other nations found where Judah was at because Judah was lost. And then they began to come over here left and right to see Judah. Because they had found that Judah had fell so far down. That all Judah was doing was being under a tree playing cards and drinking beer. Yeah, they found that shit out. They just went to well, uh, the wrong type of Judah. They that come to me, they would have saw I knew Judah. This is why they came to my Abba, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. All nations, all nations came. They would make his garments of the finest material. And these Jew boy came and they made all his jewelry. The thing that goes on is his diadem, what is around his neck, his ring, his watch. They made all of that. People would make my Abba shoes. Yeah, all of that. You see my Abba? My Abba is sharp from here to toe. We didn't spend a penny on it. No one spent a penny on it. They were all gifts. All nations. All nations came to the feast. All nations. There's a law. An ecclesiastical law. From you can't fuck sheep. Yes. But they fucked them anyway. Even the scripture says, You are not supposed to lay with beasts the way you lay with man. They took, you see, Alistair Crowley, he did that. He put the word beast there. Because he thought we would never find out who the beast really is. But it says, We are not to lay with mankind as you lay with a melanin female. They changed a lot of things. But they can find them what they need to find through synonyms. Stop fucking little boys. Mm-hmm. 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 Doing it even more. Now the melanated Every man is doing it. The black boy. Funny he says sun and light. These bastards are also putting gold and silver into our systems. 
uh, body systems, like bio systems. They are adding gold and silver also. And the third element is, uh, they call this liquid silver. And that is, um, it is in everything. Mercury, how can I forget? God damn, it's the sign that rules me. And that is Mercury, it's called liquid silver. So the motherfucker said I have silver going down my back. <laughs> I am one who is ruled by Mercury. And that silver is in my back, and that's it. That Mercury is in my back, the liquid silver. And they can heat that shit up and make it move, and it feels like it is cutting me. The light that it is bearing. Wow. Okay. Check. All right now. Since we are twenty minutes in, I'm going to go and stop here, and I might start over. I do not know. Sit talker. Now he wrote.